What is up everybody? J Nell here with my UFC Fight Night 95 recap video. Happened this past Saturday. I know I'm a little late. I'm working like these 14 and a half hour graveyard shifts at a casino plus my home life a little upside down still. So bear with me. I will get it together. I still saw the event though. I did see the entire event. Check it out. I'm only going to talk about the top three cards. I got two out of two of my decisions uh, of my picks. I did not do a YouTube prediction video. Yes, but you have to follow me everywhere. I did a 15 second prediction video for the main event on Twitter and Instagram and I did a prediction on Facebook right before the Nelson fight so gotta follow me everywhere so I was two out of two talking about the top three cards on a uh, top three fights on the card they were the most important first up Roy Nelson versus Antonio Bigfoot Silva they both needed the win to kind of stay in title contention there because you know in the weight heavyweight division you win three fights you're back in title contention so this ended in the second round I got the pick of Roy Nelson he had the better shot selection he had the better timing he was the smarter fighter had the better game plan which is what I expected yes Bigfoot did clock him did muscle him against that fence was bigger than him was physically stronger than him but um, Roy Nelson was able to time a great little kind of a straight uppercut actually right uppercut that knocked Antonio out sleep and then he rained down some bombs while Antonio was on the ground that knocked him back into consciousness and then he got upset at Big John for not stopping the fight earlier because Antonio actually is his friend and he's like dude I'm a vet you get a feel for this thing these things you know when the fight is over and I don't want to hurt my friend basically paraphrasing is what he said I actually kind of agree let me know what you thought of that stop it should have been a little bit earlier who do you think should be next for big country whose belly was big old belly big country that wasn't not so big belly anymore his stomach was on 10 okay so let me know who you think Roy big country Nelson should fight next next up I did not do a pick for this but uh, in the co-main event co-main event we saw Hen and Burrell get a unanimous decision against uh, Felipe Nova this was a good solid win he outstruck him he was stronger he landed the more devastating shots the second round was the more most content uh, highly contended Felipe just seemed like he should have loosened up a little bit earlier I think he respected him a little bit too much he just wasn't first although he did perform well he's coming off of some injuries he's had an up and down career after his stunt stint on the ultimate fighter so I think he's, he, he will get it together eventually Felipe Nova is a good fighter he was bigger than Hinnan Burrell look Hinnan does not look spectacular in the featherweight division he's gonna have to do something different switch up his changing training try to take on something new to become unique again he's no longer unique anymore I don't think we're gonna see the old Hinnon, that spectacular Hinnon Burrell. I'm not quite sure. He needs to do something different. So who do you think should be next for Hinnon Burrell? He should steadily, slowly climb the ladder. Next up, main event. And I did get this pick. I chose Chris Cyborg to take out Lena Landsberg. And she did. I wanted Lena to last a little longer. And she did. She lasted into the second round. Uh, she just basically held on to her. She's a Muay Thai fighter uh, herself. She is one of the biggest chicks to fight Chris Cyborg. One of the more skilled chicks. But I think she went into panic mode uh, with Cyborg coming at her. She, of course, she's not just a barrage of chaos she has striking she has combinations she's actually calm and patient cyborg uh, showed her wrestling here she was able to take her down and rain down shots there Lena was just holding on trying to get the right ref to stop stop the fight to stand it up to break it up against the cage and even when he did break him up against the cage she would just literally grab cyborg again she, she landed like two really good elbows uh, from the inside clinch but that's about it eventually this ended in the second round via ground and pound devastatingly uh, Chris kind of had her way with this and I was like this is a good showing for Chris Cyborg she got to show her wrestling she got to show a little bit of her, her jiu-jitsu she got to show her Muay Thai the dirty boxing so we got to see a little bit more from Chris Cyborg so who would you like to see Chris Cyborg fight next and I think that Lena Landsberg will be in the UFC she's a bantamweight so let's see how she does against people in her own weight class now real quick this is who what I think should happen next for Chris Cyborg what I would like to happen is for Holly Holm after her next fight or even after the next Bantamweight big fight to go in that cage and say, ladies and gentlemen, my next fight is going to be a catch weight at 140 pounds. I will be the first woman in 12, 13 years, whatever it is, to defeat Chris Cyborg. And then drop the mic, Holly. I'm serious. And then have Winkle John come in after her and be like, Dana White, we look forward to being in touch with your people to make this happen. I even want Holly to pick the venue. If they're going to open in a new city like they do, or if they're anywhere near her hometown, say, Holly, say, 
My next fight, Catchweight 140 in such and such city, I will be headlining and I will be the first woman to defeat Chris Cyborg in 13 years. And I'm not just saying this because it would be a heck of a fight that they could sell. She could do this stone face assassin style. You know, I'm always pushing her to be, to give us more of her personality. She can hold back less is more stone face it. Boom, I'm gonna defeat her. When they ask her about it, don't break it down. Don't tell us how, Holly. Just stone face, I will defeat Chris Cyborg. Such and such day, market calendar. Walk off. And I'm not just saying this so Holly Holm can get some pubs so she can have something to fight for. I actually think Holly Holm could beat Cyborg. After seeing this fight, Holly Holm has the skill set. She's the biggest bantamweight. I think she'll actually be around Chris Cyborg's size. And she might even have bigger thighs with that kickboxing background. She can keep Chris Cyborg at bay, get her into the later rounds, and then turn up her boxing. I am outside. I am outside. Okay, so um, I'm serious. I'm serious. Let's start a Facebook campaign. Do what we got to do. YouTube, Twitter. Let's get it going. Instagram, Holly Home. Holly Home. I've heard rumors before that you were looking at this fight, that you could do this, that you were thinking about it. I think you can. This would be a huge fight. It would be one of the biggest female fights of the year. Holly Home. Set it out six months in the head. That's why I say pick your venue, pick your shot. Let us build the anticipation. Every time we see you, stone face it. Don't give us any details. Just straight up. Mark your calendar. I will be the first woman to defeat Chris Cyborg. Boom. <laughs> Please, Holly Home. please. Uh, that's what I think that she should do. I really do. Let me know what you think about that. What do you think about that? Do you think Holly Home should call out Chris Cyborg? Do you think she stands a chance to beat Chris Cyborg? I think she does. Now, other than that, who do you think Chris Cyborg should fight next? Same with Roy Nelson, of course. Uh, uh, Bora, what did you, how did you do on your injury, uh, on your picks? Any injury updates? Let me know. Talk to me. Take care. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, Snapchat, where I do do picks that are on YouTube. Also, uh, subscribe, like, take, take, talk to me, take care, and goodbye.